So we hope you're enjoying your evening so far, guys. Uh, we've grabbed Paul. I've come up here a couple of weeks beforehand to have a chat. A little bit chilled today, so nice and relaxing. But um, 2021 season, pretty good season for you, Paul. Yeah, I was quite happy with it, you know, in the end. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with, with how it went. Um, started probably a little bit slow, but we, we definitely picked it up in the end and uh, it finished well. You know, we finished on a high and... Yeah, I'm happy with how things went and hopefully we'll just continue that now uh, moving forward. OK, well, let's go back a bit, roll the tables back a little bit then. Um, of course, the news come out, you've been moving to Kent yeah. under Len. We've spoken already and we've seen on social media about the fact you rode under Kent, uh, rode, rode under Len uh, before. So it was uh, good to go back to Len as well. Um, so the season at Kent, the supporters, the stadium, the track and the team as well. What's your, what's your take on how that one went? I think... Uh, you know, as you say, I rode under Len before. He was one of the first people to bring me into that league. So it was good to go back to him. Um, and although the team started quite slowly, we, we you know, we made some changes and, and picked it up in the end. And the fan base was fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed it, enjoyed the management, everything about it. So, um, yeah, it was just a, a shame that, you know, what's happened now has happened with, with Kent. But it's a time that I'll always remember and, and a year that turned out really well for me in the end. Well, we've been seeing some of those races uh, whilst the guys have been eating and, and coming in tonight. Uh, you put on a good display there and the Kent fans really took you to their hearts as well. Um, some of those passing really got them out of their seats. Yeah, I think, you know, when I, when I got dialled into the track in the end, I found some, some, good, some good lines and, you know, I like to put on a bit of a show. Um, don't always do it from the start. But um, that's that's why I built a good relationship with the fans, and uh, yeah, it was a fantastic track. And yeah, as you've as you've probably seen, um, definitely pulled some some good moves and overtakes in the end as well. So uh, yeah, it's thoroughly enjoyed it. The time there was great. Um, yeah, it was a, a good year. Slightly disappointing that you only just missed out really on getting through to those playoffs. We did. We, you know, I think if we'd have just made some changes a little bit sooner, then uh, we we'd have probably ended up in in a good position and. You've got to be in it to win it, um, and we just we just didn't quite get there. But um, it was still a good year, a good team. Enjoyed everything about it. Um, enjoyed racing the track, and you know, put on a good show for the fans as well. Putting on a good show, you certainly did that in the Premiership as well. Midway through the season, uh, Ipswich signed you up, and you went up back to where you wanted to be in the Premiership, racing with the big boys and stuff. And uh, yeah, again, went well. Yeah, it did. I think you know, I. I <laughs> The contract with, with Ipswich fell through at the start of the year um, due to COVID and they needed to make changes. So uh, so you were already in the team yeah, and then you wasn't yeah. and then they called you up. It was a difficult, a difficult uh, thing because a lot of riders couldn't commit because of COVID and, and everything else. But uh, then they made the changes that they needed and uh, I was able to go back into the team and, you know, I had a really a good, a strong year in the end and, and back to where I should be, back to where I needed to be. And... Uh, we put a bit more, you know, I put a lot more into it um, and it worked out really well. It's a good club, a club that I've really enjoyed. And yeah, the, the management there, I think the atmosphere was good. And yeah, it was a club I really, really enjoyed to be at. So generally looking back over the 2021 season as a whole, a very positive one for you personally. Career-wise, yeah, I think it was definitely a, a, a good year for me. Um, I was able to, to put a bit more into it and uh, we'll continue to do that again. Um, so yeah, enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed riding my bike. You know, I put a lot into it. So um, yeah, it was a, a good year. You mentioned the bike. Obviously, what we don't really know a lot about is what goes into riding one league, let alone two leagues, and at that level as well. Uh, for my benefit, what sort of what sort of kit were you uh, having to uh, sort of carry around and race and keep up together this year? So we, we, we tried to do it a little bit different and have, you know, extra bikes available because two bikes just they won't last for for both teams um, we had a bike for Kent that we could just pull out and use if we needed to use that as well but the amount of wear and tear through the year for two leagues was quite dramatic although some of the fixtures were slightly reduced this time around it's definitely um, definitely hard to keep on top of it you know but um, the amount of frame you know you're gonna you're gonna have a few crashes here and there you're gonna bend some stuff and no. yeah well a few and uh, yeah, you know, you bend stuff, you've got to replace it, you've got to get it straightened or just buy new gear. The amount of wear and tear and consumables that you go through is just phenomenal. So it is, it's hard to, to stay on top of it. 
you mentioned that I've got to say back in 2019 I think you were guesting for Paul and uh, you came a cropper on track yeah uh, you were okay but the bike wasn't and the, the pictures in fact we're, we're flashing up on screen here this is how a bike can go out gleaming and it comes into the pits and it was literally in two halves wasn't it well I think you know at the start of the year the bikes are brand new so it's quite upsetting to see that as well if I'm honest but uh, they're not made of much you know they're they're, they're very weak um, and you've only got to get them out of the van a bit hard and you could you could potentially bend something so you do have to be careful with them um, but yeah not not a good thing to see a bike in in two halves to be honest and I'm guessing you've got along with the bike one of the most important parts is your engine yeah you can't get by with two of those either we've got quite a stable of engines to be honest but um you know, it's, it's ridiculous how much that costs, to be honest. I think the prices have really, they've skyrocketed over the years, actually. And uh, to stay competitive, you've got to have the best stuff. And I mean, you know, you've got to throw thousands and thousands of pounds at it constantly just to stay competitive and make sure that the engines are right. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tough thing. And are they all lined up in the workshop or are they colour coded or have you got special names for them? We do have names for the engines and there is some, some favourite ones there. You know, we have Easy. Um, and we have some of the cargo ones. What? A, oh dear. Sorry. For those of you out there, uh, um, Tony is not sat in the audience at the moment. He sat behind the uh, the camera, but in the audience for you. So he's looking off camera there. So we've got uh, like Bella is another one. Um, Dude. Dude is another one. You know, we have uh, the baby. BK. BK. So there's many many names for the engines, and they all do different things at different places. So. But we need to try and make sure that that's a bit uh, condensed down and just use three or four engines that, that we can get used to, know that they work. And it's really difficult sometimes to, to jump off one and onto another when they're completely different. So, yeah, that's the avenue that we're going to go with. I think we're going to probably invest in some, some new stuff for next year um, and go down a different route with, with the engines. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. You mentioned next year, uh, users out, championship. Uh, with Newcastle, yeah. didn't see that one coming, Paul. Um, no. <laughs> so uh, you're up at Newcastle. You like it up the north there. You've been to uh, Scotland with Glasgow and stuff. Yeah. Uh, moving slightly more down south, but yeah, from Kent to Newcastle. So um, what was the deal with that? Well, I think it was quite difficult because Kent pulling the plug last minute. It was not ideal, but you know we had options on the table, and you know I've been to Newcastle before, I think, um, and won some stuff with them, and I'd like to go and win some more stuff again so yeah it's a it's you know it's a long way away really that's but that's how we roll <laughs> so to be honest it's got to be hard because the, the Kent thing hit everybody hard if you like but none more so than the riders uh, we didn't see it coming um, in the media or or you know just as fans and I believe the riders didn't see it coming either no, exactly. and when your livelihood depends on it and you think that you're rock solid and you've got somewhere to go and you yeah. and you, you it must be a big blow to have received what is widely out there as being an email. Well, it is tough because we were all under the, the impression that we were going to go back. So if we had any other offers on the table, we, we refused those offers. So, yeah, it was a last minute thing and uh, not, not a good thing. You know, no one wants to see a club disappear, but uh, that's, that's what's happened. And I think now that Newcastle's probably the best place for me personally. So um, I'm happy I'm going there and... Uh, yeah, look forward to a good year there. So we know so far, James Wright's up there. Yeah. Um, I do believe that Maddie Weathers is up there as well. It's really yeah. signed for them. So um, they're starting to take shape as well. You obviously know a little bit more than, than we can maybe. talk about at the moment. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. But uh, generally speaking, you're looking forward to going up there for a full season. You like the track. Um, it's a, a track you do well on because you've guessed it for them many, many times and, and always done well. It's a tough track, but I think you know if you can get dialed in and, and get a good home track advantage, then uh, you can you can really you know put some good points in. And I think the team that is being put together is just a, bu a, a good bunch of guys actually, and that makes a big difference on track. So it's uh, it's shaping up to be a good team, I think, and uh, that they're going to make some changes to the track, um, which perhaps will enable me to put on a bit more of a show. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. I think it's a track that, like, as you say, I rode out quite a few times in the past and guested for them and done reasonably well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to putting on a show. It's interesting actually, because uh, we spoke to Jason Crumb not so long ago in the Speed Freaks chat show, and uh, he brought your name up as one of the riders that are very, very hard to beat around that, uh, around that track. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's a good testimonial from a uh, three-time world champion. I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think I, I think I did have a good 
race with him actually there and Biani as well, which I've managed to pass on the last bend. So, um, and obviously I get on with uh, Crumpy well, you know, he's Ipswich with me. So, um, yeah, it's good to hear that. You know, good coming from a three times world champion. I'm, uh, I'm more than happy with that. Take that. So, at the moment, where we are at the moment with Premiership, which is ultimately the, the top league, it's where you want to be as well. Yeah. Uh, nothing is signed, sealed at the moment, um, but you definitely want to get out there and be in that Premiership racing this year. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it won't be long until, you know, something comes out. And uh, So, you have got, he has got somewhere, you just can't say. Well... There you go. We've got oh, it. We've got the sick. scoop. So we're not saying where it is. I don't know where it is, but trust in the fact that we're following him in both leagues next year. How's that? We yeah, haven't had anything on the back. Yeah, we're happy good. with that. So that's good. So that's more riding from the start of the season. Yeah. Um, that you know where you're going, you know what you're doing, and you know you're going to have plenty of meetings as well. Yeah, well, the, the big blow last year was obviously signing and then not being able, you know, that didn't materialise and it did in the end. And this time we'll, we, we, we know where we're going or potentially know where we're going. And, uh, yeah, we can we can put a bit more into it, and yeah, we'll be ready for it. Got to mention um, Tony as well. Goes up and down the country with you. Um, we know he sat behind camera, he so loves it. he loves it. He loves it. But he uh, loves it. We, we we've spoke. We've seen it many times that father and son relationship in the pits um, quite often doesn't work out too well. But you guys have been together for a long time in the pits, and it works out great for you, doesn't it? He's, he's a really good guy, actually. He's all right. <laughs> there you go. There no, you go. Uh, no, it's good. Like, you know, our, our relationship is good and he knows what it's all about. He's done it before. And uh, yeah, you know, I couldn't do it without him. He's, he's got my, my best interests at heart. So yeah, he's, he's all right. Yeah, he's all right. He's out there. We give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Little round of applause. Okay, so we're going to bring it back then. Um, and to the room tonight, obviously, you've got all your friends, family, and uh, and all your sponsors and so on out there. We're all friends. We're all family. Yep. Um, I want you to take a look into that camera pool, and I want you to speak to them now. They're all out there. They're here for you tonight. Um, they follow you. They've been following you for a long time, and they've got your back as well. So a uh, little mention for the, for the guys back there. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Um, you know, thanks for your help and support. Uh, through the year, or through the years, actually. And uh, this is just, I want to put this on and just say, enjoy yourself, thank you for your help. And uh, yeah, thank you. And now he's going to get up and do the Macarena, hey? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> All right, Paul, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much. We'll have a chat on the night. Cool, thank you. Cheers, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all here for him this evening. Give him a big round of applause. Paul Star. <laughs> Well, thanks for coming guys. This is, uh, I just want to put this on for everyone and I hope you have a good time and thanks for coming. Um, we're going to have the, the starting bike in a minute, so if you fancy your chances against me, come here, here. And uh, I just want to thank you all for coming. You know, this is, this is for you, everyone that's helped and friends, family, sponsors, everyone. So uh, I hope you have a good time and uh, enjoy.